Hello there guys, it is TIJ Gaming, and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19 and a happy new year to all of you. This is the first video I've recorded in 2021, it sounds absolutely crazy and let's hope for our sake that this year is better than last year. But we start the year off with the start of the semi-final episode 28 of season 4 and the first four frames of our match against Mark Williams in the Evergrande China Championship semi-final. Remember, if you go on to enjoy today's video, to leave a like, or also comment down below, and remember to subscribe for weekly Snooker 19 content. Now, I had a bit of a look over the last two years, the last two seasons, that is, and we've reached eight semi-finals in those two seasons so far, including this one in last season, and only three times have we got through the semi-finals, so five times out of those eight, we haven't got through. When we've got through the semi-final, though, We've converted two out of the three chances into wins. The only one which we lost was the Gibraltar Open final last year to John Higgins. So get through the semi-final and we've got a fairly good chance. But this is the real banana skin in the semi-final and a tough player in Mark Williams. Now let's have a look at the matchup history between the two players. And it's fair to say it's fairly even between the two of us. You can see our last meeting was in the China Open quarter-final last season. And Mark Williams beat us fairly convincingly by five frames to one. We beat him in the quarter-final of the Scottish Open earlier on that season by five frames to two, and that was one of those events we went on to win. And as you can see, we lost against him in the semi-final of the European Masters. We beat him in the semi-final of the Gibraltar Open, the semi-final of the Shootouts, and also beat him in the Daffabet Masters final. If you look at um, the Shanghai Masters semi-final, we beat him by ten frames to nine. That was no doubt one of the best games I've ever played so I think one of the semi-final wins in fact two actually two of the semi-final well no because it was back to season two that is but one of the three semi-final wins has come against Mark Williams and hopefully we can make it two out of four today looking at season one and two though um, it was one each in season one and then he beats in the champion of champions in season two so let's see so Williams got one two three four wins against us so it's I think it's six four doing rough calculations there Hopefully we can make it 7-4 rather than 6-5, but let's get straight into it. As I say, we'll play the first four frames in today's episode, get ourselves up to the mid-session interval, and then play the remainder in Monday's episode. Now, um, there have been best of nines the matches have throughout. We played Mark Allen last time out, conceded our first frame in the tournament overall. We beat Ken Doherty 3-0, we beat Mark King 5-0, we beat Stuart Bingham 5-0. And at the mid-session interval against Mark Allen, we were drawing at 2-2, two, two, two apiece. But after the mid-session interval, we came out, played well, won three successive frames, and that is why we are sat here today in the semi-final of the China Championship. I'm excited for this one. Mark's always a player who plays well against us. Had some very memorable games against Mark Williams, particularly that one in the Shanghai Masters last year. And much like every player in Snooker 19, it all depends what version of them turns up but that is not the best start for Mark Williams and already a chance in frame number one the left so six is the magic number for us to get to as I always say in these first sessions it's always good to at least get one frame on the board I suppose but look to make it two each at the least that was a poor shot that was a poor shot really was didn't get on that red perfectly at all but we're gonna He's playing for the right corner here. play it I think we're okay mm, we're not we're not okay at all and that's not great worrying signs from both players we didn't make a lot of that at all and now it's Mark Williams with the chance we uh, we didn't play well at all onto that red and it was the position well, from the, the previous shot the blue that's led us to be in this position no issues there one I think 3-1 is the Minimum I'd take. The maximum, I suppose, it would be, wouldn't it? If we are 4-0 behind, it's not the end of the world in this match because it is the first to 6 rather than 5. In a best of 9, if you're 4-0 down, you, you might as well call it a day. You know, you're know, you going to struggle to get 5 chances in a row against a top player like Mark Williams. But if it's 2-2, 3-1 to Willow, 3-1 to us, or even 4-0 to us, um, I'm happy with that after 4 Things can change very quickly in this game. We did get to the semi-final of the China Championship last season. We played against Ding Junhui and we went out to Ding Junhui. That was, I think, in a medium-length match. We played against him in a best of seven. This obviously a best of 11. I feel like he beat us in a decider. But it would be nice to 
get rid of some of that horrible semi-final form. I mean, I wouldn't call it horrible, but... Because three, three out of eight isn't that bad. But it is the nature we've lost some of these semi-finals in where we should have won. Bit of a mediocre safety there from Mark. Certainly leaves us a half chance Not at the very really least. The result he was after. Not the result Mark Williams was after most definitely. And a good pop. One. So neither player particularly having one chance and running with it. Got to get the position quite precise here to get on the red. As Neil Fowles says, good queuing required. I think that's just about done it okay. Black's tied up here, which makes things a bit awkward. suppose we could aim for that, that red, couldn't we, somehow. Try and split these four up a little bit. Try and really get the table play. moving. There we go. We've just nicked those reds. And we're in nice position for the blue, actually, there. And that gives us a few options for the next shot. So that worked nicely. Again, a bit of a subtle split. Nothing too fancy, but as I said, it worked nicely. He's going for the left corner pocket. Strides you like on the blue. No problem there. Well. Play with some top spin off the cushion. It's not quite gone as far as I'd have liked, but I guess it might be a case of 13. up and down the table. Well, that's a surprise. Yikes. And I think this might be the problem. We're exposing ourselves here which we haven't done in previous rounds. The shots we don't play very often. And when you're playing shots you don't play very often, that, that percentage of, uh, of chance Doesn't want to over hit whittles me. down. Bye. Disappointing start here. Hopefully this for our first frame just jitters from, from both of us. Oh, I'll tell you what, I thought he'd missed that, but he has potted it. Nothing easy on here. Well, that's left him a little awkward there. I'd probably just uh, either play a safety or pot the green and, and play the safety from that. I guess he could cut the pinky, which is exactly what he's going to do. And get nice position on the next red, to be fair. There was a, a gap through that he could have seen, and, and certainly he made use of that. Thirteen. So where does he go from here? I'm guessing he plays the pink. Oh no, he's going for... What's he going for here? He's going for the brown. Bizarre. Bizarre. Very bizarre. I don't know what he was playing there. There was no way that was going in. No way on earth that was going in. Very strange. Let's hope we don't get unfortunate here and it goes into the middle pocket. We don't. Get a nice nick on the pink. One. Which I think we'll probably take. Problem is, is the, the pot on the red next time out, I suppose. Is there anything easier we can take? Get us the brown and hope we get a good position. But this is very much a... One of those slice of luck shots. But I'll tell you what, it's not bad. This should be cuttable into the middle pocket. It's going a long way towards the black cushion. But we'll take it. We'll take it. It was just because the pink went back onto its spot after that shot. So it would have made things a bit awkward for us. Hmm. We're in a bit of a pickle here. Lining this one up to the middle pocket. I'm hoping we've got the pace to move the cue ball enough, but we haven't really. We were looking for the strike pot on the pink, actually, and we could manoeuvre the red from there. Hmm. 
Actually, the blue works just as well. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. This has been the big problem throughout the frame, that the black's not open. But this is a chance to free that up with the pot of this red. If it does go, that is. I'll tell you what, it's tight. Get the player just a little bit aside here. Give ourselves the best chance of potting this. This isn't an angle I fancy, but... I mean, does playing with side? I don't think playing with side really makes a difference, does it? Which increases the chance of failure. This is tight. Oh, it's dropped in. It was going to be tight, but if we played it soft, we'd certainly got a chance. And hopefully now this should be a frame-winning chance. I did think that Mark would probably mop up there. Both players not playing their best snooker in the first frame. Only the colours remaining. Unless we make a really stupid mistake now, we should 21. wrap up the first frame. So this pot into the right corner. That's well, gone a lot further than I'd have expected, but <laughs> it's almost gone far enough the other way. 20. For the brown. That's uh, not great though, is it positionally? Might struggle a bit here. Now, can he drop this into the right corner? Got our five. Oh well. To tighten up his game here. <sighs> That's frame over, isn't it? Neil Robertson, twenty. Unless we make a big mistake, we've got this one, and that's exactly what we did. All started again with a position, Nine. and that is given the opportunity we had there a needless frame lost. We'll move on though, we'll hopefully bounce back in the next one. Never nice to lose the first frame, especially knowing that you have got a chance to win it. Just need to play better this time. I agree. You really get the sense that this next frame is pretty critical to the outcome of this match. I wouldn't go that far just yet. Not an easy one, but a half chance. But Mark has got one right from the break. We played... One. The break, and unfortunately, we couldn't get it covered. Six. I do understand what Neil Fault is saying to an extent. But uh, Mark Williams not really being aggressive enough there, I don't think. Again, he could have very easily just completely Mark Williams, 14. done us there. Had one chance and executed it. But alas, he hasn't, so we're back to a safety battle. That's a good shot. Great shot. That's a really good safety. Oh, we can see this red there. That, that's a shame for Mark. He's attempting to get the white. Because that's an easier shot for us to get safe. Rather than having to play a thicker shot on the reds and open them up. We could have done with playing that with a bit more pace, to be honest, because there's a nice target behind the brown and yellow. Ooh, that's not great though. The jaw killed him. And you could say, well, you know, you could have played it a bit uh, taking it on. More carefully, not left that red on whatever you did. What a wonderful pot. But we've what? potted the red, and now we just need to hopefully Lots get a, a nick off these shot. reds and hopefully do something with them. That's a great split. You'll be unlucky if it's you a bit more than a nick, that is, actually, but Neil Folds will say it's a great split. It's only a great split if we can find a pot. Now the reds can fly everywhere, but you might not be on one. But we are, so that's good. Good news. Nine. This would certainly be good recompense for the previous frame. Fourteen. Challenging pot along the cushion here.
What a great cost. Position's a bit awkward well, here, I must confess. Would have wanted that under better control, but, really. Uh, we should be alright. Fifteen. Stroked in beautifully. Twenty. We're not quite on our marks here, are we, in terms of hitting the ball at the right pace? And if we're not going to play well, we don't give ourselves much chance, do we? Aiming for the centre pocket here. We can recover all we like positionally, but it still makes it a tough ask. Twenty-seven. I hope in the well, middle pocket's it nice to see it. Here. It is. He's fortunate there. It's a good recovery shot. Thirty-three. This is a crucial one to get right, and we're about right with the. Follow through, which is fine. 34. Hopefully get a bit of luck with this shot. He'll play this with plenty of power. That big split. That's a good split. We a split them shot. twice, but what's the split going to be like? It's all well and good. So it's a brilliant split, but you've got to have a ball available to pop. And to be fair, we've got one, so we'll take that. Playing this with plenty of power. That's a top shot. Well played. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. 42. The, um... But is it the... It's not that. It's the washing machine. I was going to say the dishwasher. It's not that loud. The dishwasher's on in the background. And I was noticing while editing a Football Manager video the other day that it was actually quite loud in the background. Oh, Surprised at how loud it was. So I apologise if you can hear that in the background. However... I have to record my video sometimes. At some time, you can't get away from some of these household noises sometimes. It's amazing in some frames you can make a 50 break just like that, which we have done here, of course. But sometimes it can be a real hard slog, and that's just all about where the balls are and, and how hard you have to work. How much mental power you have to put into it. As I say, it's a very good simulation. Without really trying too hard. And that's no... Um, ill word about the developers of this game. But snooker is one of those games, however you play it, whether it's simulated or what, that um, demands concentration all the time. Obviously, you've got to have the AI there that punish you. Into the right corner. Few mistakes. Excellent pot. But mate, one mistake and you, you know you could be out of a chance. Just looking at these two reds on the cushion. Do they go? Let's say the far one does. I don't really want to take the risk there. We only need we're forty eight ahead, so with seven we actually Black win the frame. Required. So don't gotta to worry too much. Just pop the easier red here just to make sure of it. That's why I didn't go for anything fancy on the other two. It's just not worth it. And if we can pop this... We oh, well, we've missed that. Hmm. Neil Robertson, 69. One. Oh, why do the AI do this? Why do the AI do that? Well, One, a real gripe for me when it comes to Snooker 19. A player would never do that in real life. Because obviously if you play the red and don't play the colour, you, you're losing seven points off the bat. It's more snookers you've got to get, and it was a pretty poor attempt there from Mark Williams. So we get away with it there, but after two frames, it's one apiece. I think you can agree we probably deserve to win that frame the way we played. Bit sloppy on that last red, but it doesn't matter. We got away with it. Play this with a bit more venom. 
Come on. Come on, Kubel. Come on, Kubel. Come on, Kubel. That's it. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Excellent result. Well, he's committed the foul there, but I'll tell you something. I don't think we're going to get much of a better chance. And in a game like this, it's not worth taking a silly chance on that. We'll play on. Pop the red, then pop the black. And at the very least, we can play a safety next up. But there should be some some sort some, some sort of chance. I think he's have to hopefully open down. these up because the angle's not quite enough to get on one of those tight pots. Our look looks pretty decent. <laughs> it's worrying we might have gone in off with that one up the table, but we're okay. Good safety shot from us though has let us into this chance. Nothing that Mark Williams did particularly badly. I think that's something we beat ourselves up on to. Well, not beat ourselves up on, but don't give ourselves enough credit for sometimes. The way we do play, I'll go, ah, well, it was, you know, it was um, it was such and such's fault that we got in. You know, we didn't really do much ourselves. But uh, on this occasion, you have to say that it was ourselves that got us in here. Few awkward shots we've got to play. Loose shot. 16. Loose shot. That's exactly what I was going for, Mr. Hendon. He's looking at this red. Tight angle, but should be fine, which it is. What a fabulous pop that is. Not ideal position, I must admit, but. 17. Hopefully the top spin off the cushion will do us nicely, which it doesn't really, unfortunately. 24. Hmm. Yes, he's taken the pot on. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really that is unfortunate. Close enough. Trying to give ourselves half a chance on the black. You know, maybe we could have played a safety. We didn't, though. And, uh... What the hell is he doing here? Five point penalty there. Uh, Foul and a miss. Um, Neil Robertson, what's he trying to do? Surprisingly, he's asked his opponent. What's Mark again. Williams trying to do here? I've got absolutely no idea. He's coming back up the table again. He's going to hit the blue. Foul and a miss. And uh, Five. He's it, if he again. plays that again, he's going to end up losing the frame. I have to warn but you. But I'll take it. With a ball on this stroke, the frame will be awarded to your opponent. Well, that's amazing. I don't know what, what Mark Williams was thinking there. A glitch in the AI, I don't know. And you might disagree with that, but we'll take it. You know, it's... Um, <laughs> if someone did that in real life and was playing like that, you'd take it, wouldn't you? You'd take every chance you get. It's only like somebody whacking the reds open, isn't it? And, and, and going for something. But a very bizarre one there. We hadn't got him in a snooker particularly. We could, well, definitely not. He could have got out of that. But a very bizarre shot from Mark Williams. A very bizarre. Not the best safety from us, however. There's something wrong with that washing machine. It's never that loud. Goodness me. It's going to be tricky from there, I think, to have not left anything on for Williams. Long pot. Right up his street. But he's playing some bizarre snooker. Yes, he's on this red, but I think that's really only by luck than by anything else. He certainly, I don't think, really played to get on it. And this could be, if Mark Williams goes and clears up here, this could be the quickest four frames ever, I've ever played on Snooker 19. This is not easy. 
16. Is he going to try and cut this in? I think he is. Well, he's missed that. I think he's playing a bit like Willow in real life, to be honest, which <laughs> is understandable, but he's just, uh, you know, whacking the ball. Shot. Not whacking the balls about as such, oh, but yeah. just uh, taking, trying to take every chance. Which, you know, works sometimes. Maybe doesn't work in a long-haul game, but <laughs> given our success rate in these matches, it's hardly beneficial for us to start boasting about what we do. I don't think he can boast too much about that shot, though. I'll tell you what, he's a jammy sod, because he gets away with it. He really gets away with it. I'm hoping there's a gap here, and I think there is. This is developing into a fascinating safety battle. There is. Don't hit the jaw. I mean, it's hit the jaw, and actually, that might help. You know when you get good luck in this game sometimes? Yeah, that's it. That is it. I mean, we've not snookered him, but we're very bloody close. I mean, I thought we were going to leave a pot on there. Never mind, get a good safety. That is unbelievable. Well, pack's open now. We need a bit of help. <laughs> well, we've not actually got that help in the end. I thought that was going directly just in behind the yellow ball. Um, well, that was a bit, what's the word, shocking? I don't know. As I've said, you can only beat who you're up against. And one thing for certain, I think Mark Williams has lost his head. Going to be tricky to get out of here. Leaving something on. Stop, 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 please. Oh, it's just about to stop. The cue ball has, but... One. I said it was going to be tricky for us to get on one. We have to really take this black on. There's nothing really we can do. This is a half chance. Let's see. No, so and far so right. Some luck there and he didn't get it. Neil Robertson one. Our long pots have gone out the window, but it doesn't matter. Mark Williams has missed that one. Um. I mean, we've made a few mistakes, but Mark isn't punishing them at all. So it's a simple tap in here. One. And after that, we really need to make sure we go in at the break. 3 1 up. That didn't go in the Eight. easiest, did it? It's fair to say. Black's off its spot on the pink spot here, which makes things a bit interesting. This is an easy. We need to make sure we don't do what happens so often in real life, though, where someone loses their head, someone starts playing some strange old shots, and then you join them. You know, you get sucked in almost. Need to make sure we don't we know what do the same thing as Mark is, so I'd assume and capitalise on this opportunity, like Ronnie did against us in the World Championship last season. You know, I'll probably never stop talking about that occasion now. Taught us a lot, though. The winning line is very much a fictional thing, something that 16. you think of in your head and until you get there. doesn't matter how far you are ahead, what chance you've got, etc, etc. The only thing that matters, like football to a degree, is 22. the scoreline at the end of the match. I mean, football's not quite line. like snooker, where it's a best of how many goals, but... That's a great point. Great Even so, you know, you can be two free and a up in football at half time. I think the game's over. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking I've seen that a few here. times over the years, the Liverpool fan. What? That famous what? match what? against Crystal Palace where we were free and a up at half time. No. And what. I mean, we're getting a bit deep into football here, but. Um, many people thought it was Gerard Slip that lost us the title last year. Uh, that year, not at all. I don't think. I think it was the match against Crystal Palace that lost us the title. Yes, the game against Chelsea made it harder, but even so. Well, no surprises here with the long three points against Crystal Palace. We've had would have had a big chance. We could have lost that game against Chelsea anyway. And as I say, that's a bit like in snooker, isn't it? You can play so well for like football. You know, you can play well for eighty-nine minutes in football. You can play well for 
10 out of 11 frames in snooker. But if you take your eye off the ball in that last minute, that last frame, it can be uh, lethal. I was going to go for the black there, but because it goes back on his, the pink spot again, I'm less than confident about going for it. What a top pot that was. Not really the level of control he was after there. Lost the cube I agree with Neil. Can't disagree with that particularly. So the aim is here. Pot the pink. <clears throat> Hopefully get that one off the black spot. The red off the black spot. He's an expert Get the black where it belongs. This on. And hopefully win the frame. Quality queuing there. Really good. 49. It's a bit close to the cushion. This is that very close to the cushion. That he would have wanted. Mm. 50. This is Up and down the table then, I suppose. Don't hit any of the bulk colours. We don't. And we give ourselves a sniff at the next shot. That's not ideal. I'd have liked it to be much easier than that. I mean, we only need this red. And would you Adam and Eve it? We've missed it. We have missed it. Why don't you take more time on your shots? Mark might have just lost it himself though there. Nicely positioned because he only defense. took two points, so Three. all he can do is bring it back to level in the frame. But Four. with this, he's uh, he's going to need a snooker. And that, I think it's probably what he's going for now. He's thirty nine behind, thirty five on the table, and to be fair, he's got one. That's what he was going for, and he's played it well. I don't think this comes off oh, the cushion yeah. to hit that red, you know. He really doesn't want to let his opponent back into the frame with a foul here. Come on, cue ball. Yes, we've hit the red. That's fine. One four-point snooker, and uh, he's back in it, so we need to be careful. Should be able to swerve our way out of this one, I would have thought. His opponent will be right back in it. Which we have. Really need to try and make it hard for Mark to get snookers, but at the moment we're just worried about getting out of them, not doing anything stupid. Ooh, can we swerve out of this one? I'd be surprised. I don't know if we can swerve out of this one. It's almost got the two ball snooker. I think we can come off the cushion and hit this though. He really doesn't want to let his opponent back into the frame with a foul here. Yep, we've hit it. So that's three out of three we've got out of. I hope he doesn't bloody snooker us again. But understandably, he'll keep on fighting until the death. Oh, I don't like this anymore. Go away. <laughs> oh, God. He's played a good shot there. Very good. I don't want to come off two cushions particularly. That's going to be a nightmare. I think it might be the only way out though. Unless, I mean, that's the. Uh, we're going to hit the pink, aren't we? Doing that surely. A foul here will open the door. And we'll give away point. six points rather than four. Think about it. If we only give away four points, it's not so bad. Yes, we've hit it. Whew, that was a bit of luck. Don't put us in another one, please. We've got out of four quite well. Surely you can't make it five, and thank God he doesn't. We can probably get what our own back on in there. Like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. Oh, we didn't quite do that one as well as we could have done. I overhit that. I could do just potting this and getting this frame swept away because with the with the red, he won't be interested in coming back to the table. So we might as well give ourselves a half chance and try and pop this thing. 
He's taking on the long red to the corner pocket. No, we're off with that. Oh, mamma mia. This is longer than the second frame. That, well, the third frame, wasn't it? Yeah. Get the cue ball safe and tight to the cushion here. Where's that one going? Yeah, it's okay. Wouldn't worry about that. He'll be pleased with that. It looks safe. Where's this going? Where's the cue ball? Where's the red ball going? Right over the pocket. Oh, I'll get a snooker on that one, Willow. I he's think he looks like he's just going to pop this now. Yep, he has done. And that is the most stupid shot I've ever seen a player play. Apart from the, the strange old shots he played early. Because, of course, he gives away seven points he could have got. He's left the yellow on even worse. And we'll go into the mid-session interval with a 3-1 lead. I really hope for the... I mean, you know, it can happen, I guess. These players aren't bulletproof, but... I would hope Mark Williams plays a bit better in the next session. I mean, we haven't played brilliantly. We've missed the green. It doesn't matter, though. I hope Willow plays better in the next session because some of his shot choices there were questionable. So after losing the first frame, we've won the next three. We'll watch Mark Williams break off here, but we'll be back on Monday for the next session. He's playing some great snooker at the moment, and he's on a real roll. This will be concerning for his opponent. Thank you, the fifth frame. So Willow breaks off. I mean, yeah. You see the chance he's left there. 4-1, I think he's very achievable. But you'll be able to see that on Monday's episode. Of course, Snooker 19 videos on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday on the channel at 6pm. You've been watching Friday's episode. We'll be back on Monday, therefore, for the next one. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and comment your thoughts down below. And thank you for your company today. As I said at the start, happy, happy new year. Let's hope it's a good one for us all. And we can start that certainly in game by getting to our first ranking final. It's fair to say our first ranking final for a while. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.